What's up guys, Lifting here. Split Arrow is among the best bow skills in the game and this is how I suggest you set it up. This build is viable for both softcore and hardcore gameplay. It has excellent clear speed and great defensive utility. It can deal with the highest level of maps and at Siri. For defenses, this build makes use of a high amount of life, evasion, the acrobatics keystone and a defensive cast when damage taken setup. The build further utilizes 7 frenzy charges and 3 power charges to significantly increase the damage, attack speed and the critical strike chains of the build. Your main damage setup consists of split arrow, faster attacks, chain, physical projectile attack damage, added fire damage and weapon elemental damage. For single target damage you will need blast rain, faster attacks, physical projectile attack damage, weapon elemental damage, concentrated effect and critical hit damage. To effectively apply your curse and generate power charges you need to use an additional split arrow setup. This one consisting of split arrow, chain, curse on hit and assassin's mark. And it's important to note here that you only use this setup to spread the curse or apply the curse and not to deal damage. You need to use your primary setup for that. To improve the defenses of the build I recommend that you link castman damage taken, immortal call, increase duration and ice golem. With this you will, whenever you take a big chunk of damage, automatically cast Immortal Call and become immune to physical damage for about half a second. And this may not sound like much, but it makes a significant difference as it stops a potential one-shot from happening. Besides that, it summons your Ice Golem for you, so you don't have to do this manually all the time by yourself. Long live laziness. Finally, to improve the damage of your build, I suggest linking Wall Haste with increased duration. In the remaining slots you need to add in Hatred for a major damage boost to the build and Herald of Ice or Arctic Armor if you prefer a more defensive oriented setup. If you prefer you can also decide to swap out increased duration for Blink Arrow for more mobility. Split Arrow is available from the beginning of the game and if you are interested in speeding up your leveling process or making it easier, I suggest you buy yourself the unique Stormcloud bow and then when you reach level 32, go buy yourself a Death Sword bow and use that until you reach maps. Both items are very cheap and easy to get a hold of. As for the skill tree, it doesn't matter too much where you go first. The only thing I'd suggest is to pick up Essence Sap as soon as possible as this will help you sustain the mana cost of your attacks. Later on in the game you then need to spec out of these and pick up the two life and mana region nodes near the duelist instead. The reason being that Essence App is much better early on in the game before you actually start to deal a lot of damage, after that the mana and life leech nodes becomes better. Also before you pick up acrobatics, make sure that you are primarily using evasion based gear as the keystone halves your armor and energy shield values. Finally I recommend that you save the critical strike nodes for later on in the game as they aren't that efficient early on. And if you're looking for a more step-for-step -step approach to spending your skill points while leveling, then make sure to check the leveling skill tree templates I've listed in the forum build guide. The link is in the description of the video. And as for the ascendancy class, for this build we're going with the Raider. Here you need to pick up Way of the Poacher, Rapid Assault and finally Avatar of the Chase. This setup will grant you a ton of extra damage, survivability and the ability to generate frenzy charges without any other investment. As for the bandits, you need to help Oak on normal, kill them all in cruel, and help Creighton on merciless difficulty. When it comes to your gear, you primarily need to look for affixes such as added flat physical damage to attacks, increased attack speed, life and evasion to make yourself more durable, and of course enough elemental resistances so you can be capped at 75% in merciless. It's also important to note that when it comes to improving the damage of your build, the bow is by far the most important piece of equipment. And for this build you optimally, at least for endgame, need to look for a harbinger bow with high physical damage, attack speed and critical strike chains. And it should be said that to cover your intelligence and strength requirements of your skill gems and gear, try to get a bit of those attributes on the gear you craft or buy as well. When it comes to unique items, there are only three items I recommend for this build and keep in mind that none of them are required though. The first is the Rat's Nest Helmet. This helmet will provide you with a nice boost to evasion, crit chains, attack and movement speed. The second item is the Lightning Coil Armor. Not only does it grant life and evasion, but more importantly it allows you to mitigate 30% of incoming physical damage as lightning damage, which then in turn is mitigated by your lightning resistances, thus making you significantly Thank you, I really recommend this item. The third and final item is the Maligaro's Virtuosity Gloves. Primarily as these provides you with a high amount of extra critical strike chains and multiplier, thus greatly increasing your damage. 
Finally, when it comes to jewels, I recommend looking for a mix of the following affixes. Increased maximum life, increased crit multi, increased physical damage, increased attack speed, and increased strength and intelligence, depending on what you need. As for flasks, I recommend two divine life flasks of staunching, one ample jade flask of reflexes, a basalt flask, and an ample quicksilver flask of warding to help protect you against curses. And that's it guys, make sure to check the forum guide for more details and for future updates to the build. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section or in the forum post. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the content. Thank you for watching and bros, do you even nerd?